Hello, this is Gabby with Interest Analytics again, and this week I am going to be doing an Adobe Reports and Analytics tutorial on traffic sources. I thought I would go through the uh, traffic sources reports um, one at a time, um, not spending too much time uh, on any individual ones. If anyone has any specific questions and wants me to dive in deeper, please leave a comment below and I'll either respond directly in the comments or I will uh, uh, plan another video in the future. All right, so traffic sources, first of all, uh, as you can see here over in the navigation, um, starts off with uh, looking at keywords. And uh, first off is keywords all. And so we can actually look at all keywords, whether they're paid, natural, organic, whatever. Um, uh, they're all kind of grouped together. And so you can see here kind of like a roll-up report, as, as it were, in terms of all of the um, keywords that get driven to your site or, or drive traffic to your site. And by default, I have uh, visits, unique visitors, and page views, so I can kind of look at um, look all at all of that. Um, obviously, as with any other report, you can change the metrics here. Um, you can configure um, your port your reports here, etc. Um, you will notice that um, keyword unavailable is like one of the top um, things here, and then of course the none is just all traffic um, that came to your site um, that wasn't. Um, driven by a keyword, uh, but it was driven by like a bookmark, direct link, um, etc. Uh, and that all goes under the none. But then once you get into the keywords, um, there's keyword unavailable, and that one is primarily being driven by people using the Google um, search. Uh, they're, they're, they're kind of new, I was going to say safe search, but it's more of a non-tracking search, private search, that kind of thing. And so because of that, um, a lot of keyword traffic is now being um, obfuscated so that you can't see what keywords are coming to your site because people are wanting to remain more private with their searching. And so um, it really skews the, the, the graph up here. So one of the things you can do um, if you, you know, like really don't care <laughs> about the keyword unavailable is uh, you can go into the advanced search and say does not contain and you can say it does not contain a uh, keyword unavailable. Um, and if you want to say if, if um, all the criteria is met, you can do other types of things as well for filtering. But generally, that should take it out. Um, and that will update your graph and actually show you um, a little bit more information uh, in terms of that. Um, it still has, it, just, it still keeps none up here, but it does not include the none here in the graph. So at least that way it kind of cleans the graph up a little bit. Um, all right, so that's the all. And like I said, it's, it's basically a report of all of your keywords. Now uh, we can do search keywords paid if you have any paid uh, keywords uh, running. And uh, currently I don't have any paid keyword campaigns running. And so right now all of my paid keywords are none, uh, which makes perfect sense. Um, and here it says you must define paid search detection rules for this report suite before data will be populated. Um, and so if we click on that, and, and to be perfectly honest, I don't have any campaigns running, but um, yes, you do have to kind of enable this um, and things like that, especially if you are running a campaign. So you'd actually have to specify if you're doing it through Google or you know whatnot. So you'd have to come down in here and say Google and it, the query string, string contains, etc. And um, this is one way to try and get around some of the, the private searching that people do. Um, although, to be perfectly honest, I think even that's being um, blocked now if people actually are using it. Um, anyway, let's move on and go into natural search. So obviously all of my keywords are natural search keywords. So, um, and again, uh, the same thing is true here, keyword unavailable and it skews the graph, etc. And you know, you'd have to filter that out if you want to um, clean up that graph a little bit. All right, and then we have search engines, and it's the same type of breakdown where it's going to be all paid or natural. And we'll just take a look at all because since I don't have paid, it's really kind of pointless looking at the other ones. And you can see here, um, Google is by far the most popular um, search engine that comes into my site. So even though we can't see the keywords specifically, um, and that's just because 
of um, the fact that people are doing private searches, but we still know that Google is um, sending us traffic and it's taking um, a, a look at all of the specifically Google um, search traffic and that kind of thing. Um, and we can go here and you can see it's from different um, Google countries and everything. And if you click on the little uh, magnifying glass there, you actually get a, um, a drill down uh, and it says keyword unavailable. And you can see here um, where you used to be able to see what the keyword was in the URL. It's now just a string of gobbledygook numbers uh, and letters and things. And so this is one of the reasons why we can't tell what the keyword is because it's no longer um, visible. It's now encrypted. All right, so we'll close that out. Um, and we can go ahead and skip the rest of the search engines. Uh, we have all search page ranking is yet another report. Um, and you can see here in terms of uh, where you rank on your search on the search pages. Um, and it says none and that's um, you know mostly a function of, of you know just direct traffic, that kind of thing again. And then um, you know if you're ranking on the first page or second page, and um, apparently I, I've been ranking for at least the search for the keywords that um, we are able to detect um, that I am ranking on the first page with a lot of them. So that's kind of cool. I mean, they're all orga organic. So you would you would expect that to be perfectly honest because it's organic and organic search. I'm not doing any paid searches and um, people are more likely to click through to um, through a link on a search if it's on the first page. People don't often go through page two and three and four, etc. So the fact that I even got um, a click through uh, by showing up on page rank two, um, I think is, is interesting. And, you know, I'm not surprised that the majority is uh, page rank one. Uh, referring domains, and so this kind of gives you um, a list of all of the domains that are referring traffic. Um, search engines versus, you know, whatever blogs, any any particular web, website whatsoever. Um, T.co is Twitter. Um, then, of course, I've got YouTube. Um, you know, the, these videos are driving some traffic to my website, so thank you, everyone. Um, and then, you know, just go Google's a, a, a big one, but then we've got things like Copa Theme. Um, I think that happens to be the theme I'm using on um, on my website currently. And I think I, I posted on their website uh, for support um, to do some configuration of it. And so obviously people have from, from that forum um, actually clicked through and looked at my website. So I think that's, you know, uh, interesting information to have. Um, and you know, you can, if you wanted to um, not see, you know, everything that Google is um, referring, you know, once again, you can go ahead and does not contain um, Google. And let's go ahead and just kind of clean that up and just kind of see what non-Google uh, referrers I have. Um, so kind of clean that up here and we've got Facebook in here, we've got um, a Social Blade which is a YouTube um, stats website, um, etc. So um, it's sometimes it's interesting to just kind of filter out because Google has is so like everywhere um, filtering Google out and just kind of looking at some of the other uh, domains that are driving traffic to your site can also be interesting. Um, and then we've got um, original uh, referring domains, um, and this is basically like what the the original referring domain. Like if if you went through from uh, a couple of different click-throughs and things to get to your website, etc. Like the original, the the originating um, uh, domain that drove traffic to your site and everything. So, uh, and we've got all of that um, data here. And then we have refers, which um, kind of goes into um, just more of a specific domain uh, link. So you can actually see the full um, path um, of everything. So here is one of those um, obfus obfuscated things. It's obviously, you know, it's uh, my website. Um, it drove traffic to um, this particular article, but again, cannot see the keyword that drove the traffic, etc. cetera. Uh, but so it's kind of more, it's a more granular uh, look at your referring domains or referring traffic. Um, and then finally, there is refer types. And this just kind of shows you a breakdown of the types. There's search engines, you know, sort of like the direct traffic, which is the typed bookmarked, um, social networks, and other websites. Other websites could be blogs or, 
you know, just, just, you know, other websites, let's say, um, I have, there's another analytics website out there who happens to, uh, want to partner with me and they, and we link to each other and that kind of thing. So, um, there's, there's that type of, uh, that type of thing. So, and you can actually get, um, uh, breakdowns um, for a lot of this except for the type bookmarked just because it's direct traffic and there just isn't um, you know any point in in trying to do breakdowns and it's referrers and referring domains and things so I can do search search uh, engines and I can break it down by uh, referring domains and um, there we go with uh, you know like mostly Google <laughs> yeah who's in here somewhere yep there there they are etc um, but yeah, that, uh, that is all of the traffic sources reports. Um, if you want me to go into more detail on any of this, um, or if you have any questions and things, please leave comments in the comments below. Um, if you find these videos useful, please uh, give them a thumbs up and uh, please share them. I really greatly appreciate getting uh, more folks looking at these videos. And then also, if you're not subscribed yet, I greatly appreciate always getting a new subscri subscriber um, to subscribe to my channel. All right, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.